to make a uh, quick video and show you how turpentine can go bad and what, how you can spot the difference. Um, I bought this bottle when I had my um, loon with the two chicks to paint because the old turpentine that I used, Grimbacher, was in a tin can and it had turned to what seemed to be varnish leading me to have to strip my bird, my loon, and start from scratch. So when I did that, I went and bought this bottle in 2018, early 2018, and um, used it to finish painting the bird, and it looked beautiful. So now here it is, um, late 2020, December 2020, and I'm starting to paint something else in oils, and when I pulled out my old bottle of turpentine, you can see it's all yellow. Well, when it's brand new, it's clear. This has gone bad. There's also kind of a white film of something at the bottom. So I just think that this is going to be a bad outcome to use this. I'm tossing it. But I wanted to let you guys know um, what to look for when it comes to uh, Grumbacher turpentine. Do not buy it in a can and pretty much does not have a very good shelf life. Um, so you might have to buy a new bottle every time you paint a piece. And uh, this bottle cost me 15 bucks. This one cost me 15 bucks two years or yeah, two years ago. So. It's, it's, it's pretty spendy for a cup of turpentine, but it's well worth it when it's not yellowed. When it's brand new, it's great. So, anyway.